we're going to make over these pots that I have for my porch and they were painted a turquoisey color that I spray painted a few years ago. I paint these about every two to three years and I've had them for forever. So that I painted them all white first and I thought that's what I wanted. I thought I just want a white pot this year. And no, that didn't look right. So I went ahead and I added some salt wash to my old school color and got a really thick coat of that dark gray on the pots. And you can tell that I'm just really slopping it on here. I want the texture, so I really don't want smooth marks. I added some white swan to my leftover old school, so I got a light gray color. And then I added some water, so it was a bit on the thinner side. So fun. Then I went ahead and used my water bottle and sprayed down my pot and made sure that it was nice and wet. I'm doing this outside so I can make a mess. So if you're doing it inside, you might need to be a little bit more careful. And I went ahead and I put this light gray color on and very sloppily again, just getting it on and then taking my spray bottle and spraying some of it off so that it drips down the pot. Now I'm taking a wet rag and I'm distressing on some of those higher areas. I'm distressing down to the white, to the old school, even to the aqua color that was underneath there. And just keeping it around the pot and going wherever some of those higher areas are and distressing as little or as much as you want. Now for the really fun part, or sloppy in some cases. The DIY paint is very highly pigmented, so you can add a lot of water to your paint and still get some good coverage. So I wanted that washed look of concrete, and like the sun and the rain had definitely washed some of the color out. So I took the white swan, and I really watered it down and put it on the pot on the top side. Not so much on the bottom of the pot, but more on the top. And I let it drip down, and then I also took my spray bottle and sprayed some of that paint so that it would drip down. Here I'm showing you the one pot with the white on it and one without. I was outside, but we were threatened with rain, so I took a few photos and I moved inside the garage. So I thought you might want a view. The next step I had to do was seal that paint in. And uh, like I said, I paint these pots every couple years. So I am a firm believer in use up what you have. So I had some Rust-Oleum matte sealer that I used on these pots. It's not for external use, but like I said, I'll probably be painting them anyway. These pots are big, so I fill them up with plastic bottles and I fill up some of that space below. These are just annuals. They need a lot of root space, but not as much as this pot has. I bought these hanging baskets from my daughter at Life Root Farm. 
if you follow her on Instagram, she's got some really fun stories and some photos of her gardening process. So I take the basket and I take the hanger off and then I go ahead and I remove the plant from the container, moving the bottom piece too because there's a plastic disc on the bottom. Then I go ahead and I give these roots a little shimmy shake and kind of loosen them up, get them all activated again because they need to stretch out and grow in their new surroundings. Then I also prune off some of the dead petunias and some of the other spot dead flowers they really like that they they like to get a good pruning and they'll give you more flowers if you do that i'm adding the excess dirt that came off of the roots into my pot and now i'm going to fill my pot up with some potting soil and go ahead and put the plant right down into the pot filling up the edges with some more potting soil and you're done if you have any pots to plant for your patio, head on over to thepaintedphotographer.com and order up some DIY paint. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. You really help my channel out when you do that, and I really appreciate it, and we'll give you more videos in the future. Until next time, happy painting! Thank you.